In this Premiere Pro tutorial, I will show you how to create this countdown timer right inside of Adobe Premiere without using any plugin or any template. Here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I am currently using 2020 version. You can use any version of Adobe. It doesn't matter. So first of all, we have to create an adjustment layer. You can also use video instead of adjustment layer. It doesn't matter. So I'm just drop it in my timeline. So here you can see we can create a simple sequence. You can check it out the sequence settings right here. 1920 by 1080 or you can customize your sequence settings if you want so after this we have to create a transparent video for our time coder so i'm just drop it in my timeline so now we have to go to effects if this effects panel isn't appear here don't worry about it just go to window and here you got an option of effects my sure it will be checked so we have to search time code right here so you can see under the video effects we go time code right here so just drop it on transparent video and as you can see a time code appear on our screen so now let's move to effects control now as you can see first of all we have to remove this feel symbol for that i have to uncheck this option right here so you can see it just bloom up and now we got an option of opacity as you can see our background is black that's why we cannot see the bar around here so we have to change the opacity to zero now it's looking really great so the next thing we have to be changed is time display so 30 frame per second is absolutely working for me you can choose 24 frame per second or 25 frame per second or even with 60 frame per second if you need so uh, it's okay for me with a 30 frame per second so before continuing let's talk about the today's sponsor Invato element in my opinion the best place to get your asset for digital creation if you're looking for stock photos and videos but also for million of pre-made templates photoshop plugins sound effects then this place is great for you they have around 6.9 million assets can you believe that they have put 50 million stock photos that's absolutely incredible i personally use their template in my many projects if you're interested check it out the link in the description and get yourself an annual subscription for only 16 us dollar per month so as you can see we have a four part of number right here we don't need hours and frames in countdown timer so we have to hide this number so for that we have to go to effects search crop and under the transform we got cropped right here just drop it on your transparent video and now just go to effects control again select the crop option right here so as you can see we got a transform right here so we just need minutes and seconds so i'm just hide frames and hours so you see we got our number so here is the minutes and here is the hours if you go moving forward here is the seconds just coming up so i have to make this size bigger so i have to go to the motion and now change scale to bigger like that and now move up yeah that's great so as you can see the number is counting up by just i'm just moving forward and the number is counting up but i need a countdown but like a number is counting down so for that we normally go to the transparent layer just go to the speed and duration and change it to reverse speed but in this case the reverse speed is just unavailable so i have an other option for that you just need to select all control a and now just go to the nest and press ok so here we have a single file right here now move again right click and just go to the speed and duration now as you can see the reverse option is available so just reverse and press ok so here you go you can see the number is counting down from 4 second to 0 second you can increase the duration of number by increasing the duration of your file like i have to be increased the number 
I have to be change the duration of transparent video like 15 seconds 13 uh, 15 seconds is okay move back to our nest and as you can see we can increase it to as well now as you can see the number is counting down from 14 second to zero so yeah here is a simple way to creating a countdown timer so yeah here is a video of today i hope you like this tutorial if you like this tutorial give me a big thumbs up and if you have any question please let me know in the comment section i will try my very best to answer your question thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one